So your first port of call will be support.ptc.com where you can access all the information and all the details you'll need for your account. And this brings open the license management page. At the top you can see we've got the drop downs for license actions, asset management, resources, etc. There's an area you can put in for quick licensing and search on a particular host ID. Realistically though, if you go to the drop down and go to advanced search, it's far more user friendly. Here you can search for sales order number, host ID, your contract number, etc. You can put in your sales order number at the top there and press search and it will show you all the licenses attached to your particular account. Got available license on the left, installed license on the right in those tabs at the top. And you can then scroll down and see which licenses are either available or currently installed on your machines. You get the product description, you can scroll those up and down. And if you have more than 10 licenses, you can go on the drop down and show the full license package that you've currently got purchased. Pressing one of the pluses on the left hand side shows the actual details of that particular license, including any relevant extensions. And then to install a license, I select the tick box next to that specific license and scroll down to the bottom and press install license. At this stage, you can then select how many particular licenses from that stack you want to install. And then enter the host ID of your specific machine or server. You can then specify a zip or a text file to be emailed to yourself. I generally go for text to be quite honest. And then you press install license. What you'll get is an email with the licenses. The one on the left hand side is generally the one to go for without standard in the title. Saving that license file is important and important to put it in a, you know, a sensible place. I generally create a Creo license folder on my C drive so I know that I've always got basically a raw version of the license available at any stage. Clicking in there you can see that the license itself comes in as a text file and if we have a closer look at the text file it'll give us some indication of what these licenses actually entail. At the top you can see your particular PTC call number so I suppose that's creating a case in the PTC licensing administration you can see that you've got the, the host ID at the top, the name of your company and the main contact there with their email. And then also on there, there's a customer number and the install site number, which is useful if you need it for any information related to your PTC account. What you can see underneath are all the extensions and aspects of that particular license. You can see really clearly what extensions and what you know, purchased items you've got on that particular license itself. So for example, on the left hand side is the actual number of that particular extension and then the name and obviously there's the quantity on that particular license. So if you've got, you know, mold design or behavior modeling, advanced framework, you know, mannequin, whatever it might be, these will be very clearly labeled here. Where it says Creo 8, this is a Creo 8 license, but of course what it will do is run all versions of Creo up to and including Creo 8. So if you're running Creo 4, this license is perfectly valid for that instance as well. And on the right hand side, you can see the expiry date of this specific license. So it's nice and clear, very simply laid out really. Once you get reading it, you can see exactly what you've got there. And as I say, that's a sensible way of looking after that particular license. Keep it on your C drive. So you can always, you know, reuse it if you need to reconfigure or reinstall your version of Creo at any stage. When you purchase your license from us, you will have been given the option of choosing between a locked, sometimes called a node locks license and a floating license. And you can see on this list of licenses here, you can see I've got basically the number of the license. And at one end, it's got an F suffix. And here we've got an L suffix. And what that obviously means is that we have a locked license here. So this is a Creo 8 locked license. And the one underneath with the F at the end is a Creo 8 floating license. So what's the difference between these two? A locked license is specifically to be used on one machine. So it can't be placed on a server. It can't be borrowed. 
it essentially is locked to that particular workstation where your Creo is installed. If you need to move it from one machine to another, you need to deinstall the license from the first machine before installing it on the second. A floating license gives you a bit more flexibility. It again can be just placed on a single workstation by all means, that's what I have on mine. But you can also put it on a central server so any of your team can access that license from their particular workstation if they're on the same network as your server and pick that up as and when required. Obviously if you've got three licenses, three floating licenses, three users can be using Creo out of a team of say 10 at any stage. The installation process of these is slightly different and what we're going to do is we're going to take a brief look at the, the process with which you can install your Creo software with a locked and then a floating license. So let's start with the locked license. 